cloudy and wet across the country today and the outlook stays mild. I'll have all the details of that and more coming up on Good Morning Britain. Wednesday, 20th... For ..shopping today, it's looking better for tomorrow, but I thought I would talk more about a white Christmas before you brought it up, because I've had... <laughs> a lot of people have been asking me, didn't it used to be the BT Tower used to have snow on Christmas Day? Wasn't it Christmas? So, actually, the reason we have a white Christmas has changed. I thought I'd go into that. But, Ooh. first of all, let's look at the odds of a white Christmas where you won. The last time we had a widespread white Christmas in the UK was 2000 and... Good morning to you. It is time for my extended weather where I look ahead for the next seven days. But people are mostly interested in what is happening on Monday and if Christmas Day is set to be a white one. Well, here's how things are looking at the moment. First of all, you just need one flake of snow falling in the 24 hours of Christmas Day for it to be officially a white Christmas. And that has actually happened more than you might think 53 times in the last 64 years because it just needs to be that one flake. But actually, the Dickensian scenes of widespread white Christmas, the last time that happened was 2010. But even last year was a white Christmas with a few flakes of snow. Who is likely to see a white Christmas on Monday? Well, this is the line we currently have from the Met Office. Basically, much of Scotland and Northern England, if something falls from the sky, it is likely to be cold enough for that to fall as snow, but you're more likely to see it if you head to higher ground. But at the moment, the rest of the UK is looking largely dry and snow-free. And actually, the theme is turning milder, but it's still a good few days away yet, so the forecast could change. But at the moment, things look set to turn milder rather than colder. And yet again, it is mild that is the name of the game today. It is cloudy, it is wet, it is windy, more especially across northern and western areas. So this is our latest satellite and radar. Cloudy, which means it's relatively mild to start today. And we already have some wet weather in the far north and west. So through the day, the rain that starts for western Scotland spreads across the whole of Scotland, northern England, north Wales and north Midlands and into northern Ireland. So it is cloudy, it is grey, it is dull, it is wet and it's also pretty windy. But yet again, it is mild, 10, 11 degrees right across the board. So how do things pan out as we head through the next seven days? Well, first of all, we look at the north of the UK. So it's Scotland north... Go on, then. And you know what? I've got a little bit of everything as we head through the next few days. But if it is snow you're after on Christmas Day, then it'll be in pretty short supply. Now, first of all, what do you need? One flake of falling snow in the 24 hours of Christmas Day has actually happened 53 times in the last 64 years. But a Dickensian white Christmas, that's just happened four times, and last time was in 2010. Where is likely to snow see snow on the big day? At the moment, it's in the north, across Scotland and northern England. Good morning to you. It is five days until Christmas Day. The question is, will it be a white one? Well, it's looking much less likely. You just need one flake of snow to fall officially on Christmas Day for it to be a white Christmas. It's happened 53 times in the last 64 years. It used to be just one flake of snow falling on London Weather Centre, and since that's closed, it's any location across the country. The last widespread one, 2010, but even last year we saw a flake... Lovely. Well, they are hoping for a Christmas number one, and the rest of us are probably hoping for a white Christmas. At least a few flakes would be nice. And all we need on the big day on Monday is for one flake of snow to fall anywhere in the UK. It used to just be a flake of snow falling on London Weather Centre, but then that closed. And it's actually happened across the UK 53 times in the last 64 years. Last year was a white one with a few flakes of snow, but the last widespread Dickensian scene, which is just...